the internet can't see you. The field's three hour, three and a half hours. No, it ain't. Yeah, I literally have it's the It's like ad- four hours of there. I looked at it. I have the address. The address Matt sent the field. It's three hours and 38 minutes. It's right before Birmingham. What are they doing here? I don't know, I'll make the rules. I just follow them. What is up guys? All right, so we are here at actually QT at my place and Drew and Tyler both here. They stayed the night at my house, but we are, we're packing up and we are heading to Leeds, Alabama to go practice at Prime Paintball. Um, CEP is some of the I-75 guys are supposed to be there. So I'm excited, it's gonna be really good practice. But yeah, we are heading out from Clemson and going there, let's get it. Supposed to fucking fucking was that tropical storm supposed to come right through? So hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Um, and maybe it, it switches a little bit. I doubt it, but you know it's one of those things. We got to prepare for it and then hopefully not deal with it too much. But yeah, let's go. guys so we made it to prime um get set up i actually left my cleats so i drove all the way to walmart they didn't have cleats so i bought water shoes and then i get back and there's like three different people like oh i got cleats i'm like sick guys thanks probably should put in the group chat first but yeah we're getting we're getting ready everybody here i'm excited dude last weekend to prep for philly let's get it you're the light you're sent to me every night I chase some dreams, ain't got time To make them see what we believe If you and me, yeah I wanna see the light Hey, 
Alright, kill the sumo! Kill the sumo! Kill two! For sure. Hey, Brandon, we need a dagger. Brandon, we need a dagger. Hey, 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 can you get into the snake? Hey, it's the turret. Hey, it's the money. Money dagger. Hey, Sumo, money. You're good. You're good. I said you're good. Oh, you pointed at my head, so I thought you were saying I was hit. leaving from prime if y'all can if y'all can see any of the footage it literally rained the whole time we were there but the field is phenomenal we were out there just grinding with cp um and it, it went really well uh that was their d1 team that we were playing against and just winning points gives you confidence especially when you're playing against somebody who's a couple of divisions up but i i it's good uh it rained a lot i literally like my hands look like uh prunes oh. but yeah now we're gonna get something to eat we were planning on staying here two days 
everybody consistently or everybody pretty much agreed to just go back to Augusta tomorrow if it's not bad we're gonna you know just do drills and stuff but um, all in all it's a good practice so now we're gonna get some food and uh, probably probably go back to Clemson so a four-hour drive eight hours in one day baby I just hope my footage wasn't completely blurry standard Mexican food after practice it has to happen. We didn't do good last time we didn't eat Mexican food out of practice, so we had to go back to it. On the way to the Mexican restaurant, I saw something that literally, uh, it was life-changing. And um, that's the easiest way to put it. But I did not eat all my Mexican food because we found a Whataburger. And being from South Carolina, Whataburger is just a myth there. There's no, no such thing as a Whataburger. The first time ever in Alabama for me, we found a water burger. So I had to try it. So y'all gonna get a live feed, a not so live feed, a recording of me trying water burger for the first time ever. Fries are all right, they're not not the best, but the place does smell good. Hurry up first, ladies and gentlemen. That's a patty melt. There's patties and they're melted. It's the name. really be arguing over if in and out and this is better because they both not good steak and shake's better than this it's almost basically like steak and shake but not as much flavor i mean the burger is better than in and out for sure i've had in and out before the burger and the fries are both better so it's definitely water burger is definitely better but this i mean i guess for the price you can't beat it your boy gives it a five out of ten it's average it's there all right, guys, thank you so much for getting to this part of the video. And if you have, please make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. But uh, my final thoughts before I head to Philly. Actually, today is Wednesday, and I'm going to pack up my stuff. I'm currently washing all my clothes. Got all my gear packed behind me. Um, and I'm going to get packed up, go to Charleston, and then we are driving out of Charleston to go straight to Philadelphia. Uh, it's going to be a 10-hour drive. So I'm excited, man. Um, this is my first time ever going to Philadelphia. So first event I've ever played, an NXL event that's not been in Florida. So uh, I'm really excited just to go there and prove ourselves. I felt like the team has practiced really well. That last practice at Prime went 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 over a lot better than I thought it would, and uh, that gave me confidence for us going out and playing. We did not end up practicing in Augusta the next day because it was just rain, and we didn't want to play in the rain like all day, two days in a row. Uh, we probably should have. We probably should have just sucked it up and went out there and played. But guys, let's talk about the the fields in philly that it's going to be rough man it, it basically looks like dirt i'm going to put the videos up so y'all can see but i'm not i'm not excited to play on that field i'm excited to play against you know good competition and play with play with my boys but i'm not excited to play on that field it does not look good tom cole basically came out and said that the field was given to him by uh i guess it was the city and it's supposed to be the place for you know the for future nxl events to be there but he said that he took the chance on it not having the grass grown up. I feel like there's a lot of stuff he could have done. We were paying a lot of money, like a lot of money to play in these events. And this is probably going to be the worst field I've played on ever in an event. And I paid 400 bucks for events that I've played on phenomenal fields. So, I mean, really, people are just upset. And it, it, rightly so, right? Uh, you don't, you don't want to spend all this money playing in the National League uh play at a high super high level and then play on a field like this where it's you know it's potential to hurt yourself so it's right that everybody's upset i'm upset um i really wish that they would turf it or something like that like he i, I know that he's got plenty of money sitting around especially since the the city gave them the the, the city gave them the the field you know 
it's like why can't you just use the money that you would use to you know rent out that venue or whatever and put it somewhere else but i don't know all the logistics i am purely speaking off of speculation and i could be completely ignorant to the fact of what's going on but the i mean basically what we have right now is that we have a really really bad field to play a national event on it's not going to go over well i just know it um it's already not going over well on the internet and there's a lot of people saying that we should suck it up but those people also probably aren't paying for the event um or don't have uh situations like mine where i'm in school and i don't make a lot of money and so a little money i do have is going to this event but that is all for me guys Thank you so much for watching this video. The next video is going to be the Philadelphia event. I don't know when that's coming out, to be honest. But as I'm talking right now, it's Wednesday. And we'll be heading up there in the morning and then playing on Friday. So videos from Solus Photography. So be looking forward to that. But yeah, thank you, Scott. <coughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. This is Matt the Gym Rat with another episode of Full and Focus. It's now Davy Stocks episode. Oh my gosh. Yeah, bang bang, stay ag, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.